be strong. Good morning, Warriors. This is Olivia and Sebastian. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities. We focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Okay. Friends, we see that. Welcome, friends. Follow the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands with soap, and wash your physical distance. Students who ride the bus must wear a mask that covers their mouth and nose for the duration of the bus ride. If a student does not comply with this mandate, disciplinary consequences will be issued. Attention lawyers, your books are now $70. You can make your book extra special by adding the names of pictures. The last day to do this is February 20th. Buy online at www.johnsonsyearbooks.com or give your cash or check to Ms. Paris, name seven of them. If you are going to give them a check, make sure to make it payable to the yearbook. All 8th grade boys and girls interested in trying out for the Macintosh JV golf team, trials will be held at South Bay Country Club from 4.15 to 6.30 on February 8th, 9th, and 10th. In order to try out, students must have an updated physical, which should be uploaded to Privet.Physical. Paperwork and instructions for Privet can be found on the Macintosh Athletics website. MacintoshAthletics.com if you have any questions, please email Coach Yarbrough at yarbrough.bad at fcba.org. Will there be a basketball game there? And at Venice Mill tomorrow, February? The girls will be playing at 5 and the boys will be playing at 6 15. Don't forget, a warrior is always responsible, respectful, and right to men. And now for the character lesson. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Sarah and Amelia with a few words of wisdom. William Blake, English poet, painter, and master engraver, has engraved these words into the character of many. As a man is, so he sees. He's talking about perception, how a person views the world. The Latin word comes from the Latin prospere, which means to grab hold of. So, the question of the day is, how do you grab hold of life? Do you hold the negative and positive? Do you see the glass as half full or half empty? Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, great American author and public speaker, tells us there is power in the positive thinking today. Watch those negative thoughts. Instead, be positive and powerful. With something to think about, this is Amelia and Sarah. Make it a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is always yours. <laughs> Good morning, Wood Warriors. This is Elizabeth bringing you the weather for Tuesday, February 2022. The high for today will be 60 degrees and the low will be 54 degrees, with a 41% chance of rain. There might be risks. Tomorrow there will be a high of 61 degrees and a low of 45 degrees, with a 45% Chance of rain. Have a great day, Warriors. Hello, Booth Warriors. This is Edwin bringing you the lunch menu for Wednesday, February the 2nd. For entrees, there will be chicken nachos and queso, a chicken tender wrap, or a jammer pack. For the sides, there will be black beans, corn, shredded lettuce with fast tomatoes, pineapple tidbits, or baked delicious. And always, there will be a choice of milk. Have a great day, Warriors. Happy 
According to Britannica.com, Louis Armstrong, born August 4, 1901, died in 1971, was a leading trumpeter and one of the most influential artists in jazz history. He became famous in 1922 when Oliver, the leading band in Chicago, sent for Armstrong to play cornet. According to legend, in 1964, Louis Armstrong won the Male Vocal Performance Grammy Award for Hello, Dolly. During the 1920s, Louis Armstrong was a huge impact during the Harlem Renaissance within the jazz world. His impact touched many, including a well-known man during that time named Langston Hughes. The sound of jazz, along with many other musicians, such as Armstrong, helped shape Langston Hughes as a writer. The popularity Louis Armstrong gained brought together many black and white audiences to watch him perform. Oh, darling, never go my way. Oh, darling, never go my way. 